What is it about these Dutch stand-up fighters, boss? <laughs> yes. Alistair Overeem from Holland has got a really, really good striking arsenal. He's got it all. And he's tall and he knows to use his length. He's got phenomenal knees, good striking power. And you know what? He's getting better and better on the ground. I think from Holland, he's one of the best ground fighters. And he's going to be testing a brand new contestant in the Pride Fighting Championships. And his nickname is Batman, and he trains with Krokop. Ooh, well, we don't know, but if he can strike like Krokop, it could be a striking match. But I think if it's going to be a striking match, Alan is going to win it anyway. Gotta agree. Alistair Overeem in the ring with his favorite weapon, his hammer, because he is the demolition man. Can't use it though. Mike Batman! Ben Chichi! And it's Mike Batman Ben Chick. Um, and in his corner there, that meant to the left, Merkel Krokop. We'll see more of Merkel later. And there, Alistair is getting Alistair! congratulated by his corner man, oh, Alistair, the demolition man over him from Holland. I think there's a little bit more on the line than just the match itself because the winner of this fight advances to the Total Elimination 2003 Middleweight Tournament to be held on August 10th. So they've got that to think about as well as their opponent. <laughs> yeah. You know, one thing I notice always from uh, Alistair, he's got that smirk on his face even though when he's fighting, it's very strange. He's yeah, super relaxed. Both these guys look tough. I, I, this may be um, a perfect. Uh, there's the, the body clinch, which Benchik, oh. uh, he gets the guard already, and he is a jujitsu man, a jujitsu man with a 15 and 0 amateur kickboxing record. <laughs> Oops. One thing, don't let him get the full guard. Uh, this, don't let him do that. No, what a start. I, 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 I would have liked to see, loved to see the flying knees from Alistair. But, uh, but here we go. Ooh, look at this nice escape. Yeah. And good. side mount. And a side mount. And then we've got the knees there, which are illegal in the Pride Fighting Championships. And wait, Alistair is very capable of throwing because he did this many times. But look at Benchich nice. gets the guard right away. Nice work on the bottom by the man from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, who now resides in Croatia. Yeah, he's uh, been all over the place. And um, yeah, like you said, a jiu-jitsu expert with a record of 15 and 0. In kickboxing, right? In kickboxing, whoa. He's gotta be good as an all-round fighter, I would say. Right. Alistair should, uh, okay, not anymore. He should right away escape, go for the side mark if the guard is open, like now, boom, go. Stand up now. Alistair, Alistair's ground fighting trainer is Martin De Jong, the uh, great ground fighter from Holland. And uh, I'm sure he's worked quite a bit on guards because he was originally going to face a guy named Ricardo Arona. But uh, Benchich took uh, the fight on short notice. Oh, there's the knee. Now Alistair should step back and turn it into a Muay Thai fight. Nope. Oh, nice. good right, right hand. But it wasn't distance enough. I think he should have stood up and just got into a stand-up war. I think so, too. And um, right now, he should have gone to at least a half guard. Because this is not good. You don't want to be in here. You no, know why? You're playing the other guy's game. Yep. And there's nothing really you can do. If he holds you like the underhooks, and he hold, when he would hook his hands now, there's nothing that you can do, actually. He can throw little, small, soft punches. Do you think they're careening with the yellow card here? There's Merkel Krokop there looking on at his uh, uh, stablemate, Mike Batman Benchich. He's kind of like Robin now. Yeah. yeah with Batman in the ring and Robin is uh, looking out for him. Yeah, oh yeah. Big time. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, boss. <laughs> you are the man, El Wapo. Uh oh, triangle choke. But Alistair saw it. Oh, no. Hey, listen, Alistair is doing a great job here, but he should really break the guard, get out. 
I keep it under her feet, but maybe he heard about the 15 and 0 kickboxing record, and he thinks, you know what, let's uh, play the ground game a little bit here. But then again, 15 and, 15 and 0. Oh, they, oh out again. look at this, he got out. Nice. Uh, as I was going to say, 15 and 0. Side mount position by Alistair, and uh, 15 and 0 means one thing, but it's, if it's amateur, then you have to ask, who did he beat? Yes, and what kind of class, too. Like, the whole thing, four classes. You start with, like, new class, C, B, and then finally the pros, but... Would 15-0 and 0 in Croatia have the same weight as 15-0 and 0 in Holland? That's one thing I can tell you 100% no. That was a good hit. It was the right knee to the solar plexus. It was the right knee to the solar plexus. He can finish it now. He and should hit the body. Batman is in trouble. Batman. He's stopping. He's staring. It's over. Wham, bam, pow. Batman has been stopped. By the demolition man. Right flight me to the solar plexus, ladies and gentlemen. Understood. Rule number one, if you fight Alistair Overeem, avoid the flying knee. <laughs> At three minutes, 44 seconds, he achieved the KO over there. A man who looked up on paper, uh, Mike Batman Benchich. Uh, he really took a shot there. Whoa, come on, people, let us see the replay. Rewind. The replay, that's the word. Excuse my English. There he is with the hammer, which he didn't need. And we're going to see it. Here we go. One, two. Oh, you know, that's the same knee he ended his last fight against both Ataev. And the fight was basically over right there. The referee could have made that executive decision to stop it. When Benchers turned over on his side. Yeah, now he's tapping already, you yeah, see. Yeah, he tapped out, so it was a, it was a tap out, actually. I want to see a different camera angle. Let's see if they're going to see a different camera angle. Look here, they show the finishing punches, but that was not really the finish, I think. It all started with that beautiful knee to the body. And, and, no. and, and with that victory, there he is with his, one of his cornermen, Boss Bone. And Mark Devere from two up to handle, and Martin Dion with that uh, that giant hammer. Uh, <laughs> one thing that this victory secures for Alistair Overeem is now he is in the total elimination 2003 middleweight tournament, going to be held August 10th. Don't miss it, folks. What does that mean? Now he's got a lot of competition. Alistair could be matched up with Vanderley, could be matched up with Sakuraba, Quentin uh, Jackson. Uh, 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 Dan Anderson. Yeah, there's a lot of great guys in that tournament. Um, I, I'd like to see him be matched up with some of the guys in the video game, too. Yes, me too. I think because the Pride video game, it's a really cool game. And I think he, right now, after this victory, after these two great victories he already had, he should belong in the Pride video game. For sure, there's going to be a Pride video game part two. So uh, I'm not afraid of that. Yeah, he had that flying knee in there for sure.